So once upon a time, our planet Earth might actually have been different color. Welcome everyone, this is Anton, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the ancient history of our planet Earth and the chance that it may have actually been purple. Welcome to What The Math. So in today's video, I actually wanted to talk about the um, super, super old history, specifically we're talking about billions of years ago, of our planet Earth. Now, it actually looked very, very different, and for this reason, we're actually going to go into a completely new simulation and basically just add a randomly generated planet here uh, that is going to represent Earth. We're going to make it Earth-like in mass and use the appearance tab right here to essentially change its colors to something a little bit more earthy. And so here's the start of the ancient earth, we also need to maybe add some water to it so it actually looks a little bit more realistic. And basically uh, there's the atmosphere and here comes the water. Now maybe this is what it kind of looked like a long time ago. Before life, before everything else, and uh, possibly right after the collision with a very, very large object that uh, created the moon. Basically, uh, the, was, there was a very large collision with a planet very similar to Mars in size that then um, created a satellite that we know today as the moon. And there's the moon orbiting around us. Now, this is before life, though. In other words, life has not actually yet appeared on the planet, and here comes the liquid water, here comes the atmosphere, I actually accidentally removed it, but it actually does look a little bit better that way. It suddenly appears, and this is uh, something like 4.5 to 4.4 billion years ago. And then something happened, and basically we had our first life. Now, this is actually a very interesting theory, or a very interesting hypothesis. And this hypothesis states that um, a long time ago, uh, no, well, first of all, we know that there were a lot of collisions, that the Earth uh, itself had a very, very different look, but, you know, there was a lot, a lot of different asteroids that basically uh, smacked onto our planet and uh, many of them may have delivered water, many of them may have delivered organic materials and possibly were the result of um, the creation of life on our planet. We're still kind of not sure about what exactly happened but we know life was formed something like 4.1 billion years ago. So after a few of these collisions we're going to try to simulate this life. Now at first the planet was very likely to be very brownish, it had a bit of a blue color from the water and a few uh, white stuff going on here because of the clouds. But then, uh, once the first life started to appear, the colors started to change. Now today we have our Earth as very green. So here's the comparison actually. Uh, the, most of the planet is very green with a bit of a yellowish brown from the deserts and a little bit, or actually quite a lot of blue from the water. But uh, the hypothesis that um, I wanted to discuss actually states that it's very likely that the early planet was actually purple in color. And there's a very, very good scientific explanation for it. Before we um, do this, though, let's place another binary Earth right here just for fun and uh, discuss what exactly makes our own Earth, my current Earth, green. So why is the earth actually green? And if you did any biology in middle school and high school, you probably know that this is because of chlorophyll inside the plants and inside of various um, life, of various bacteria that actually use uh, the sun's radiation to uh, transform water and nutrients into energy. So basically it is because of chlorophyll, a molecule that um, essentially absorbs um, blue light, absorbs red light, but reflects green light. And so this is what we see. But it turns out that um, reflecting green light is actually a very bad idea. As a matter of fact, green light seems to be very, very energetic and um, seems to produce uh, the highest amount of energy if you were to absorb it. In other words, a plant should not be really reflecting green light, it should be absorbing it because it would allow it to produce much more energy. On the other hand, the red and blue light that it absorbs doesn't provide enough energy or doesn't actually produce as much energy as green light would um, if uh, the plants could absorb it. And so why exactly would the green light be reflected if it's so efficient at producing energy? And this always puzzled scientists until they realized, well, maybe, just maybe, this is actually part of the evolution as well. And so the idea here is actually pretty simple, and it goes like this. A long time ago, specifically 4.1 billion years ago, when life has just evolved, it was actually absorbing the green light, and it was reflecting red and uh, dark blue. 
And basically, it made this earth look very purple. And so here we're going to just play around with a few colors just to make it look as purple as we can uh, get it. And so here we go. This might actually have been the true or origin um, or the true face of the ancient earth. It may have actually had quite a lot of purple life on it. Um, and even today we have some of the leftovers of, of these archaic organisms known as uh, halobacteria. They are actually uh, still purple and they still kind of use the green light and reflect red and blue light and so this is actually something that uh, did exist and I guess the next question is so what exactly happened well what the scientists think is that uh, because of the evolution and because of the way that life always competes on our planet earth something may have occurred and uh the new species was introduced that was actually using red and blue light and reflecting the green light. In other words, it wasn't really competing with the purple bacteria, but it was just slightly more efficient and slightly better and slightly more advanced than the purple uh, bacteria, or I guess the purple reflecting bacteria. And at some point, all of this started to change again. So with time, the green took over. And it's very possible that this was actually because of some sort of a um, cataclysmic reaction or possibly some sort of a collision with an asteroid that was very, very common back then. So maybe there was actually a random collision here that caused um, all of these purple bacteria to kind of start to die out. And the green bacteria, or I guess the green reflecting um, life, to evolve and to slowly but dramatically change the face of the planet into green. And so here we go. So now it has become the green planet. And one of the reasons for this success was uh, simply because even though chlorophyll may not uh, be the peak in terms of uh, the solar spectrum, it actually makes a better use of light um, when it comes to producing energy and um, compared to the other molecules that produces purple light, which is known as retinol, it is definitely a lot more efficient in oxygen-rich environment. But retinol, on the other hand, is a lot more efficient in a, a low oxygen environment. So back when the actual atmosphere was a lot uh, less prominent and back when the uh, essentially the oxygen was not as prominent either, this is when retinol would have been much more successful at producing a lot of stuff, including oxygen, and would actually dominate the planet. On the other hand, retinol is also very similar to some of the fatty acids that we have in our cells today, and it's a very ancient molecule, so there's quite a lot of hints pointing at the fact that retinol has actually been on our planet for a very long time, much longer than chlorophyll, the green stuff, and it's very likely that the early organisms were actually turning our planet not green as it is today, but purple, as you see on the screen right now. So it's very likely that ancient Earth was very, very different in color and may have looked like something from a science fiction story or from one of those planets that we get to visit in No Man's Sky. And so essentially, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. And I wanted to show you what the uh, early Earth may have looked like. It might have been actually like this, even in terms of continents, and it was definitely very, very different back then. One of the uh, main differences on top of the color was actually the fact that it was spinning much much faster as a matter of fact one day here was about 22 hours long and the um, surface pressure was higher there was actually quite a lot more um, various gases that we don't have today and it's very likely that the um, actual atmosphere was also a lot more rich in oxygen but nevertheless this was not a very hospitable place and the collisions with asteroids happened quite a lot as a matter of fact, some of the largest collisions actually occurred around that time as well. Now, before we finish this video, let's actually just stop the velocities here and have both of the uh, objects come closer and basically collide with one another, just to see what happens if you were to combine the purple Earth and the green Earth. Will they change color? I don't know. Let's find out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope you learned something from this video, and I hope you'll subscribe if you still haven't. Share this video with someone who likes to learn through video games, and maybe even consider supporting this channel on Patreon, because it does help me create better videos. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's see what happens with this collision. Give me later, and as always, bye-bye.